In this video, I will walk you through the process of migrating Blogger to WordPress. Here are a few steps involved. Firstly, you need to set up hosting, then install WordPress, and finally, you need to import Blogger content. I recommend Hostinger for your hosting account, and these two videos will help you set up Hostinger with any domain name provider and also shows how to install WordPress on Hostinger. You can find the video links in description and also you can find a link in video description with which you can get 70% discount on the hosting plan. So let's assume you have already set up the WordPress. Now log into your Blogger account and go to settings. Now you need to scroll down until you find the following section, which is manage blog. Here you will find multiple options. You need to choose backup content and hit download. Now this will download all of your blog content including comments and authors. Now log into your WordPress website which you have already set up, then go to tools, then import. Here you will find multiple importers and you need to install the blogger Click install now and it will install the blogger importer which will help us to import blogger posts, comments and users. Once it's installed, hit run importer. On the next screen, you need to choose the file which you have downloaded from blogger. Then hit upload file and import. Now it's asking us to select a author. You can choose the existing one or assign a new author. So we will choose existing author. Then hit submit. It might take few minutes. We got an error which is timeout. This means our file is too large. So keep in mind if your file is too large, you need a good hosting plan. It says there is an error. We can verify if the blogger content was imported or not by going through media. If you see new media, it means some of the content was imported but not all. So we will try again the same process, run importer, then choose file, upload and import. This time again we will assign a new author or choose the existing one, then submit. This time, our content is successfully imported. So we will verify it by going through the posts. We can see there are 387 posts which were imported. There are a few published. Many of them are published and few of them in draft and in trash. So we will verify the number by going through blogger posts. And we can see the number of posts are same as on, on WordPress. We will also verify the comments section if our comments were imported. And yes, our comments were also imported. You can match the number.
Now we will visit our blog to check. And we can see the new posts were imported. You can open them. If everything looks fine, we will move to the next step. In next step, we will make sure that we don't lose our traffic, our rankings. So for that, there are a few steps involved which you need to carry out. Firstly, if you open any of your posts, you will see that the perma links or the URL structure is different than the blogger. So we need to make sure that it matches with the blogger URL or permalink structure so we don't lose any of our existing ranking pages on Google. For that, go to settings then permalinks and then choose custom structure and then copy this structure and paste it here. You can find this in the video description. Then finally, save changes. So this URL structure matches the blogger one. Now go to plugins, then add new. Here you need to search for the following plugin, blogger to WordPress redirection. Then you need to install the following plugin. Then activate it. Once this plugin is activated, you can find it under tools. Go to tools, then choose blogger to WordPress redirection. Now it says that you need to keep it activated even if the redirection starts working. Here you need to click start configuration. Now it's showing us the list of blog. You need to hit get code. So it will give you a code which we need to copy and paste in our blogger theme. So let's go back to our blogger theme section. Then under customization, you need to firstly pick up your blog then hit added html select all by pressing ctrl a then delete then pay, copy this code and paste it in the blogger template finally make sure to hit save button go back now hit mobile settings Make sure to choose the desktop option here. Finally, hit save button. Now, you can hit verify configuration. It will give you a test case. It says clicking this link should redirect to the other link which is below. So let's test it. This blogspot link is now redirecting us to our WordPress website which means our configuration was done correctly and we will not lose any of the existing traffic. Finally go to blogger settings then under allow blog feed edit blog post feed redirect URL with this URL and then hit save. So this is how you can migrate blogger to WordPress without losing traffic. If you need help, you can comment below.